research, I found a research conducted in Puerto Rico about the Puerto Rican parrot that were in captivity, how they developed a dialect, and then how difficult it was going to be for them to adapt to the wild once they were set free. Um, the scientist, Tania Martinez, she noticed that the cotorras, the parrots in, in, um, in captivity, sounded different from the ones in the wild. So then they started this research study, and that's how they found out that the parrots in captivity sounded different from the ones in the wild. So they were worried that once they were set free, how were they going to adapt and communicate, you know? So obviously I found that fascinating. One, because of the Puerto Rican parrot is in Puerto Rico, of course. Two, they had developed a dialect, you know, so that that's when I start thinking about my own son, you know, in his bilingual journey and all the other children, you know, who pick up dialects depending on where they live, then they pick up accents. And um, I found it fascinating. I said to myself, this is a perfect children's story, you know? It is just perfect, you know? It just, I came across it, then my light bulb went on, and then I signed up for a creative course at New Mexico State University, and I was able to develop and, and elaborate Coco, La Cotorra Puerto Riqueña. <laughs> I also understand the children learning a language, they develop accents, dialects, and normally sound different than someone who's a native speaker. Um, so I wanted Coco to feel special, you know, that he sounded different, you know, he spoke different, you know, but he was able to still communicate with the parrots in captivity and also communicate with the parrots in the wild, although he sounded different, you know, and that happens a lot with our children. You know, my son, he's a 13-year-old bilingual, but he has an accent and he sounds different speaking Spanish than, of course, me when I'm speaking in Spanish. And I don't want, I want children who read this book not to feel ashamed or embarrassed because they sound different than their peers, you know? So that's why I made bilingualism a superpower. <laughs>